Microblocks is a coding tool for the microbit that lets you create things that go anywhere. Pocket games you can play while waiting for the bus. An animated name tag you can wear to a party. Animatronic animals that you make move in realistic ways. Or science experiments you can throw up in the air. Microblocks supports radio communications between microbits, so you can make your microbit send a message to a friend, remotely control another microbit, or collect data wirelessly for a science experiment. Microblocks can also control additional components that you connect to your microbit, like colorful LEDs or these two servo motors that I use to make my bunny move. Working with microblocks is a lot like working with Scratch. Just click on blocks to see what they do right on the microbit. Click on sensor blocks to see their values or graph their values in real time. And when you've created a program that you like, just unplug the microbit. The program keeps running. It doesn't need another computer. That means you can take your microbit program with you anywhere as long as your battery holds out. Let's look at a few examples in more detail. We can use these two simple microblock scripts to record and playback sound. First, I'll press the A button to record some sound. Microblocks is fun. Now I'll press the B button to play it back. Microblocks is fun. Hey, check out my new microbit maracas. I have two microbits in my hand. And when I tilt the left one and shake the right one, I'm able to make music. The left one controls the pitch, the right one controls the number of notes. And together, I'm able to play music through a third microbit connected to a speaker on my table. So the way the program works, I have a left microbit sending a radio signal to the speaker and a right microbit sending a radio signal to the speaker. And together, I'm able to make microbit maracas. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. As part of their training, astronauts ride in an airplane called the Vomit Comet that flies a parabolic path that simulates free fall so they can get used to the weightlessness that they will experience in space. The accelerometer in a microbit can detect when a microbit is in free fall. To explore this phenomena of free fall, I wrote this simple program. It uses two microbits. One microbit, powered by a battery cleverly attached with a rubber band so that I can throw it up into the air, sends acceleration data using the radio feature of the microbit. The other microbit, attached to my laptop, receives that data and graphs it as it arrives. Let's see how this works. First, the toss. I'm going to try really hard to catch it. Yes! Let's watch the acceleration graph in slow motion as data arrives. At first, when I'm just holding the microbit steady, we see 100, which is one Earth gravity. Then, as I accelerate the microbit up into the air with my toss, it shoots up to over 200, before falling to zero. That's the free fall section. Finally, when I catch it, you'll see the acceleration jump around as I try to get it under control before finally settling back down to 100 again, one Earth gravity. The Microblocks website makes it easy to get started. Just follow the instructions to set up your computer and your microbit, and you'll be coding in no time. Then, head over to the Activities page, where you'll find many exciting classroom-ready activity cards covering a range of experience levels. Many of these cards are even available in multiple languages. Hey, Rosa! Do you think there's anybody who wouldn't love microblocks? I didn't think so.